So now that we've got the software installed, we're going to learn a bit about mechanistic modeling and how to put together a mechanistic model using Dynacam. Uh, the most convenient way to do this is to open a blank Excel workbook. and You can do that on your own screen as well. You should have the Dynacam ribbon available to you in Excel now that you've installed. Uh, there's a process button right in the middle of the ribbon and that uh, provides a way of creating a fully functioning uh, Dynacam mechanistic model with just one click. So if you're following along, please do that. I'm just going to go ahead and click Process Example Model. Um, I'm now in a, a workbook called Book 2. Of course, I could save that to disk. It has some worksheets called Components, Process, Scenarios and Data. Those are the kind of core worksheets we typically need in any Dynachem model. Um, each of them is just a table of uh, information. Uh, happens to be stored in Excel, but it could be stored in all kinds of different files. Um, but we present it in Excel. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, solve this model now. So um, I'm going to come back in the next video and talk about how these worksheets and the content on them is put together. But to go ahead and solve the model, and simulate the behavior. Um, we now have a full ribbon. All the buttons are lit up. That's because we're actually inside a Dynachem model. And the most important button for working with Dynachem mechanistic models is the simulator button. So again, I'm going to hit it. Please hit that button if you're following along. Once we do that, we really leave the Excel environment. Um, the Dynachem executables read the content of the Excel workbook and generate the uh, set of so-called ordinary differential equations that will describe the system. And um, then we're in a separate screen. This one is called simulator because we hit the simulator button and we can choose a scenario. I'm just going to choose experiment one. We'll see how that's set up in the Excel file shortly. Um, and right now in this experiment, it's just simulating a little container in the lab with some ethanol and some reagent in it, but actually nothing really happening in that container. So it's a very, very simple placeholder model to get us started. And we're going to be able to plot the amounts of the components. We're going to be able to plot the temperature. Um, there are some iPod-like controls bottom left to actually run the simulation or continue the simulation or stop the simulation. Um, we can also just, if our mouse pointer happens to be over here, we can just right click and say run or we can look down at our keyboard and press F6. So I'm just going to run the model and um, you'll see that we just get flat line profiles. In this case, the amount of ethanol stays the same. The amount of reagent stays the same. The temperature stays the same. And um, really just introducing you here to the way that you run a simulation and control a simulation in the next video will make this much more interesting. So um, the axes work in a convenient way if you want to focus on a particular variable. You can click in the legend, the y-axis scale will change to suit that particular variable. So that's quite a useful shortcut for navigating the plot. Uh, you can also use this uh, sort of rich picture or process scheme button to get a tabular summary of everything that is being calculated in the model. So in fact, this model has done 56 calculations at different times over the 300 minutes uh, cycle time of the operation. And we can use the slider bar to drag back in time to find out uh, what was happening at any particular moment. It's not too interesting in this case because this is a model of just some inert material not really doing anything. So it'll be the next video before that becomes more interesting to look at. So that's the end of this uh, first video. Just really wanted to show you how to create a model with one click and then take that model into the execution environment simulator. Join me in the next video to see how to make this model more interesting and um, learn a bit more about model building.